I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hello. Hello. Welcome to a beautiful icy cliff. And Aaron and I, is it fair to say we are the most tired we've ever been in our lives? Um, that was last night. Right. Right. So, y yesterday, we wrapped on the YouTube Red Show. Hooray! That we we finished- shoot. Yeah, we finished filming six episodes, um, and it was probably- I don't know, I- I got super teary. I- you- you- you held it together pretty well. Maybe you were- maybe you were too exhausted to feel emotion. I got it as I was walking away. Really? Yeah. I- it- it was shocking to me how emotional that experience was. Yeah. Cause like, I don't know, dude, like, it, I didn't really, I think it's because I didn't think it would ever happen, that I would, like, be a part of something like that, that I didn't allow myself to, like, really think about how much of a dream it was, you know? Yeah. Um, because I was like, why entertain dreams that won't happen, uh, on some, like, subconscious level. Yeah. And so, like, yesterday when it wrapped and they were like, that's it, and, like, it, it, it sank in that, like, it did happen, like, it, it just... It was really moving and like, I, 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 I bawled. I bawled a little bit in my car, um, and the, the hair, uh, the hair and makeup girls, um, at least one or two of them are Jewish, so they had some matzah left over from Passover <laughs> that I'd been stealing every night. Uh -huh. Well, not stealing, I was like, can I have some matzah? And they're like, yeah, it's pretty much garbage at this point, and I'm like, good. That is the exact opposite of stealing. Yeah, I know. It was more like, <laughs> it was more like dumpster diving for friends. Um, and, uh, so, I was, like, I was just in my car last night at, like, 12 at night, like, eating matzah and crying. <laughs> I'm like, what is my fucking life right now? Um, yeah, for me it was, um, because when it wrapped, I was so fucking exhausted. And I, I think, I think, like, mentally, there, there was just, like, something hanging by a thread. Right. And then the fa the the moment that we wrapped, my body was like, "All right, let go." Yeah. And yeah, and yeah. everything was just like, Bleh, like, just a, a wave of like exhaustion and and like like my body was allowed to finally relax. For yeah. Once. Um, and so like my immediate impulse was like, "I'm gonna leave. Like I'm just gonna go. Like I'm so fucking tired. I want to go home." Um, but I was like, "No, I have to say bye to everybody." And I'm really glad I did because everyone was so kind and so like complimentary. And and I think it was. I think it was a combination of exhaustion and also that like you know I I I have some form of social anxiety or whatever and yeah. like also like self-doubt of of my like abilities and everyone was like super kind and like they were sad to see me go and I was like they do like you know it was, it yeah. was like uh what's her face when she did the fucking Oscar speech You like me yeah. you really like yeah. me I don't know who that was but that's super famous It was um this is the fucking mom from Mrs. Doubtfire. I forget her name though. Oh jeez. Uh, but yeah, just, you you really really like me. <laughs> uh, and so that that then Classic. I got emotional as I was walking away. And like my body, so I I caught an Uber and I was driving home, and she was like one of the talkers. Mm -hmm. But I was just like so fucking zen. I was like, tell me more about your kids that yeah. are in the army or I whatever. Would, I would love to know about it, but um, like no words are actually entering your brain. Yeah. Uh. And then I got home and I was just like, I was like, sick. Like, I wanted to like, throw up. Yeah. Um, and I was so, f a huge headache. I felt, dude, I f that's how I felt after my, uh, bar mitzvah. Like, I don't know if we ever talked about this on Grumps, but like, we talked about it in the, the Aaron interviews, Dan, uh, what's it called? The, the interview things. Yeah. Grump on Grump. Yeah. Is that what it was called? Defi um, yeah. Definitely not. Um. I think that is what it was called. Oh, well then. It sounds okay. too pornographic. Sure. <laughs> People Great. like that. You ever heard of polygrams? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, like they, uh, I got bar mitzvah. For anyone who doesn't know, uh, a bar mitzvah is when you're 13 and, and Jewish, it's a rite of passage, many thousands of years old, where like a boy becomes a man. You know, you read a part of the Torah, which is the Hebrew Bible, um, and you sing it. Uh, you like the, the cantor. Um, I don't know what the equivalent in Christianity would be, but the person who sings mm -hmm. uh, the, the scripture, um, you sing it like them. And so mine was uh, in Israel um, to honor, you know, my dad and his family and um, the heritage that way. But it was the most intense thing I ever experienced because 
you know, like, you can't, uh, you can't describe how intimidating that scenario is when you're 13 years old and you know you've been practicing for months at this thing and you're singing in a language you don't understand so you're going completely by sound and these old Hasidic Jews <laughs> are like up in a balcony like looking down at you um, just judging like you feel the judgment because you're you're an American and you know like the temple their temple time is the most important thing in the world to them you know so like yeah, just roll for a while. That's a good, it's <laughs> a good tactic. Just figured I'd relax while you were telling the <laughs> delightful story. Yeah. So, but, um, I did it and, um, and that I remember seeing, like, the happiness on the faces of these old guys because, like, you know, they, they were just very pleased. And, like, my granddad on my Israeli side, who I, w I never got a chance to be close to because he was so physically far away, that was, like, our one moment of, like, him being, like, I love you, you know, I am very proud of the person, like, he didn't get to see me become, but, like, the person he knew I was going to become, you know, mm -hmm. it was that it was that type of conversation. And so anyway, the reason I bring this up is because after we walked out of the temple, and, like, <clears throat> you know, this crazy intense experience, um, I walked out into the sunshine and immediately, like, almost fainted, you know. Um, like my whole body and spirit and mind just gave out simultaneously and like I got like those one like a fever like the chills fever um, And like yeah, yeah man same. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah I felt ill like and we had sushi that day like they were very nice to the catering was Was incredible, but that day I guess they went all out and they got us like a sushi bar right we were and it was like fuck Yeah, and I was a little like oh man Maybe we shouldn't get sushi so I but I ate it anyway because fuck it and, uh, I thought, like, oh, man, I'm getting sick because of the sushi, but no, it was just the fucking experience. Man. Yeah, it's just when, when you hold on to something very intensely for an extremely long period of time, and you put everything into it, the moment it leaves your system and you're free of it, it, it just, you, you realize, um, it, it's just your body letting go. Like, that, 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 those fever chills or whatever was your body, like... Essentially, what is that? Is that a keys? Yeah, it's like a ice keys. It's so magical. Yeah, he sucks though. He freezes you. God damn it. I mean, it looks magical. This but... is why we can't have anything nice. <laughs> Look, don't touch. <laughs> don't touch. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, and thank you all for being so uh, patient with us while um, while we've talked incessantly about this show. Um, but now comes oh, the yeah. fun part where like, we'll actually just get to be like, here's the fucking show. <laughs> like... And, I mean, it's still got to go through tons of processes and everything, but, like, yeah, my, my hopes are very high. Oh, but, dude, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. I mean, just based on the fucking... There was something that one of the, um, the, uh, God, I don't know his actual title. Whoa. The, the, the guy who does the focus, like assistant camera director, camera op two. Uh, uh, Andy? No, no, Ezra. Ezra, Ezra, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh well, that's me oh, dying. Okay. <laughs> hey, uh, nice to meet you. I'm your leafy friend. Oops. Yeah, well, ha, your friend. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was nice having a friend. <laughs> as I was, he was one of the guys who like I, I wasn't sure if he like if he was into me or not, because you know like oh he wanted to fuck you. I like. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean like you know I, I'm I'm cracking jokes on set and I'm and I'm just but but I'm trying to be professional at the same time. Right. And and there's some people I guess that aren't like receptive to somebody being like so. Uh, jokey all the time. Right, sure. Um, and, and I wasn't sure how he was feeling about it. Um, but, like, when, when we rapped and he came up to me, he was one of the guys who was like, it was, a, it was such a fucking honor working with you, and like... Oh, man. And he was like, it was, it was so cool working on this project, because I've done, I've done so many comedies where no one is laughing. Yeah. Like, and, and I'm like, on set, and he's like, yeah, like, there's like, maybe pity laughs. Oh, no. But it's like, That's you just so know the show is gonna be bad. And, and like I was just in hysterics this whole process. Yeah, it was really funny. It, like the, the the other cast members were fucking rad, and like they they kept us laughing. And like I don't know, it it was without a doubt one of the most meaningful experiences of my life. And and just one more one more reason why we need to thank um, you lovelies for allowing us to have this career and and yeah. do everything. Because I mean, God, man, like. We wouldn't have been asked for this if we weren't who we are yeah. now, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, there's no doubt that, like, 
five years ago or four, four years ago, however long it's been since I've joined Grumps, like, if I looked back on my life, I would not be able to say with the same certainty that I'm totally satisfied with the way a lot of it's gone, yeah. you know? Like, I mean, you'll never be happy totally with your life, but like, it just so much good has come from, you know, everything that stemmed from being on this show, and, and that's completely a result of, you know, the people who support us. So, it, it, it's, it's just, never forget that, like, I mean, we get so many messages, like, you guys, like, mean the world to us. Just never forget that you mean the world to us, too, because, yeah. like, fuck, like, we'd be nothing without you, you know? That's exactly the words I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> we'd be nothing without you. We'd be literally two jackasses in a room playing video games talking to themselves, yeah. which is what we are anyway. And also <laughs> we get to do cool shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there, there's there's so much that has happened to us because of how many people like us and like you know, the response that we've gotten from people. Um so it's it's a very clear uh cause and effect of thank you guys for making things happen for us. Yeah. And I think it's it's cool too that like I think it's fair to say you and I are in a good place now, like, in our lives, just because, like, um, I think we both struggled with feeling worthy mm, of oh the- Oh, yeah. Yeah. I like, mean, my fucking- my- my bracelet that I wore that broke that I haven't gotten repaired yet is- it says self-love, because I didn't- I didn't love myself for the longest time. Yeah. Because I didn't think I was good enough. That's the- that's the crazy thing, like, and this is all stuff that you'd never see from the outside, you know? Like, looking in, but- I mean, internally, like, no matter how, how much, you know, you, you, you come across as having a perfect life and everything's going your way, like, you know, it, it's, it's just not the case, you yeah. know? Like, we, we live in a, we live in an Instagrammy world where everyone constantly looks like they're having the best moment of their life, lives, like, nonstop, all the time, every minute, you know? And it's just not true for anyone. No. You know, and, and the people who are having the best times of their lives are certainly not posting about it on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, that's probably they're, true. They're out having it. Yeah. Um, but I mean, so the, the, the point of that is just if you're out there like feeling down because like, look at what these people are doing and I'm not, trust me, you know, they get down too, you know, and it's just part of the human experience and like, um, I don't know. We're we're in a particularly reflective mood today, which will probably carry over to the next couple of Zelda episodes cuz like we're just like <laughs> that we were talking about it before we started recording and we had different ways of describing it, but my way was like we essentially took on another full-time job um for these past like 2 months. Oh yeah. In addition to our already essentially three full-time jobs. And um uh, and that, that was the running gag on set, man. Like, <clears throat> like you, you working again this weekend? It's like, yep. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> That's exactly what we're doing. It, it, it wasn't sustainable. We would have, we would have completely burnt out eventually. Oh, sure. I mean, that's why I had my fucking panic attack the first time ever. Totally. Um, I just didn't have days. I didn't have days. And right. If if I looked at uh what I was actually doing on a calendar laid out in front of me, I, I would just have had, like, a breakdown. Well, yeah. I, and I was just enjoying every moment as it was coming. Right. I, I had to do something, like, um, something similar. You know, like, I keep a... I don't use Google calendars. I'm trying to, like... It's better for me if I separate from my phone a little bit. Yeah. So I use, like, a an analog calendar with a pencil. <laughs> yeah, I did for a long time, too. Yeah, and it, it really helps me. And um, when I... For the month of April, I originally had written in like every day we were nice. Uh, every day we were filming the show, and it was just film show, film show, film show, film show, film show, record grumps, and then like everything else on Sunday, usually NSP stuff, and then repeat. Yeah. And when I had written it all out, like I my heart started beating too fast, and I was like, oh my god, I'm overwhelmed completely. And so like I had to just erase it all, and then like write it in each day as it went. Um, Oh, I didn't even look at my calendar. Yeah, because it was it was just too much. Um, but that that was a. Uh, 
I got off track. I, I got off track there. The, the the way we were describing it to each other was, uh, we were like two snakes that had eaten an animal that was way bigger than <laughs> like we could digest and like unhinge the jaw for. Yeah. And then so like this past month was just like that giant like bump in the snake like moving its way through and um yesterday we finally got to have a giant snake shit and like what what do you have to do i have to you'll never make it shit hold on i, I think i can make it oh god oh god i can oh hear god. it falling oh god oh oh <laughs> how lovely go 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> oh boy um but yeah so we're very relieved and very happy today, but also extremely burnt out. You, I'm sure you can hear it in our voices. I slept, I think, 18 hours, maybe 16. I wish uh, I could last do that. Night. Yeah, I just, I just fucking, because I came home, you know, I said hi to Susie and hung out for, with her for a little bit, but I was like, I, I gotta sleep. I can't. Like, I, we went in at eight yesterday and worked until what 11? Yeah. Um, eight in the morning and 11 at night. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Just, it wasn't just fucking <laughs> three hours. Yeah. Um, but so, yeah, and then I had to get drive home, and by the time I got home, it was like 1230 or something, and I was just like, okay, so I got to go to bed. <laughs> and then I just slept. I just slept and slept and slept. I didn't set an alarm or anything. Mm. Um, and then I woke up to a text from you that was like, hey, are we still doing yeah, grumps Yeah, I've been today? at the grump space <laughs> for an hour. <laughs> and I was like, oh, fuck, I didn't think it would sleep that late. But, yeah. Um, I did, and I guess I needed it. No, it's totally understandable, and like, I- and I really had to pee in the morning. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I- yeah, I'm- I'm right there with you, buddy, and like, I- My voice is pretty shot. We- we wouldn't actually be doing Game Grumps at all today, except we literally don't have any more episodes. Yeah. <laughs> like, we just have to, like, so we might do like a short session today just to- Get us to later in the week and then recover for the next couple of days, yeah. which is you know, which is fine. Uh, you know, I don't want it to make it seem like we're uh, honestly the past like four or five sessions we've done have been like some of my favorite ever. Yeah, um, I I, I it, love it. I feel like I feel like we both love doing the show now to the point where like it's chill and enjoyable and it good for like a good show as well. So it's like I think it just works for everyone. Yeah. It's just happy times in Grump Town. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is either. I, I wish I could pinpoint it, and 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 it's not that I, I don't appreciate it. I, I appreciate it a lot, but like, I want to know why. Just my analytical brain, like why it's been so enjoyable for us. Maybe it's just like it's like our only chance to sort of unwind because yeah. we've had such busy lives for the past month. Yeah, and I think we enjoy each other's company, you know. Oh, so it's just like true. it's like getting to hang out with a bro and also <laughs> do something that could be called a job. A fucking bro, dude. Uh, yeah, a bro. You think I'm your bro? I don't even have pants on right now. I haven't. I've done. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I forgot about that. Yeah. I haven't looked over this whole time because I'm a playing Zelda. <laughs> you were just like, is it weird that I want to take off my pants? And I was like. In fact, I would think it would be weird if you didn't take off your pants. Yeah, I was like, dude, I am so tired, and I like, I just want to put my legs up on the couch and feel my sweet skin <laughs> against myself. Who, who doesn't and, want that? Yeah, from time to time. So, when you listen back to this episode for the second time, you can fucking let your imagination run wild with that. Why do you? Why do you have the other mic like tucked up right next to you? Because I want to feel snuggly and protected right now. <laughs> I just feel very, I feel very cozy. All right, well, next time I game grams, I'm gonna blow up this fucking wall. Yeah, yeah, and and we'll probably say something about the game of Zelda, which we're playing. No. <laughs> See ya. This is just overdubbed over footage of somebody playing Zelda. Yeah, oh my god, that'd be amazing. <laughs> but then you die in a really dumb way, and people would be like, "No, nah, that's Aaron." Yeah. <laughs> Classic Hanson. God damn, I want to retweet all this Wendy stuff, but it's like too sexy. What is it? It's it's a it's a meme right now, uh, like cute anime Wendy. Oh jeez. So it's like shit like this. Oh.